an Omicron-driven spike in you. S coronavirus cases may have begun leveling off this week, but intensive care unit occupancy has continued to rise as COVID-19 patients flood hospitals, and several states now have fewer than 10% of their ICU capacity available. 159.052. That's the total number of COVID-19 patients being treated in hospital inpatient beds nationwide, according to HHS data. The country surpassed its previous record for COVID-19 hospitalizations, around 142.000 in January 2021, less than two weeks ago. Coronavirus infections began spiking nationwide last month after the new Omicron variant took root. Some evidence suggests Omicron is less likely to cause severe COVID-19 in most patients than earlier forms of the virus, but the variant, which is highly transmissible and adept at sneaking past immune defenses, has pushed daily infection rates to record levels, causing hospitalizations and ICU street. This jump in hospital visits, combined with staffing shortages spurred by a surge of COVID-19 cases among healthcare workers, has stretched some hospitals to their limits. Earlier this month, Maryland declared a state of emergency, and many U.S. hospitals canceled elective surgeries. Some 73.8% of U.S. adults are fully vaccinated against COVID-19, and at least 42.6% have received a booster shot, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Even though the vaccines appear to be less effective against Omicron than previous variants, they're still highly effective at keeping people out of the hospital, especially with a booster. A CDC study released Friday found boosters were 90% effective at preventing hospitalizations after Omicron became dominant, down just 4 percentage points from when Delta was still dominant. New coronavirus infections have ticked down slightly in the last week, the country averaged 726, 870 cases per day in the week-long period ending Thursday, an almost 8, 9% drop in one week, with some states logging even faster drops, according to CDC figures, it could take several weeks before this decline translates into a drop in hospital admissions, since figures for hospitalization and death typically lag behind case counts. U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Morty told CNN on Sunday that he doesn't expect COVID-19 cases to peak this week, even though infection rates have eased somewhat in states like New York. The next few weeks will be tough, he said, 